Hello, I'd like to talk to you how, about how total cost, marginal cost, fixed cost, variable cost, average variable cost, average total cost all fit together. The best way to do this is by using a Excel worksheet, I think. So I set this up to, to, to demonstrate this on the A column over here. We have quantity. I just started zero output up to a, uh, 10 units of output of whatever product this is. Total cost is I just set it up so it corresponds with uh, these outputs. Um, then our next row is marginal cost. Total cost would be our fixed cost plus our variable cost. Well, if you're not producing anything, we assume there's no variable cost. So 100 should be 100 over here. Marginal cost is the change in total cost. So I just put TC1, meaning our higher total cost minus our lower total cost. So 170 minus 100. This part would be 70 divided by change in quantity. Change in quantity, 1 up by 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. 70 divided by 1 is 70. Let's do it again here. So the next one, the new total cost 1 would be 210 minus 170, hopefully, is equal to 40. 40 divided by 2 minus 1 is 40 divided by 1, hopefully, is 40. So just keep on going all the way down there. 240 minus 210 divided by 3 minus 2 is uh, 30, or 30 divided by 1. And you can keep on going down there. Fixed costs do not change with output. So that's going to be 100 all the way down. Variable cost. Well, one way of finding variable cost is by taking the 170 minus your fixed cost. 170 minus 100 is 70. 210 minus 100 is 110. Well, 900 minus 100 is 800. Pretty easy. Now, the next one is uh, average variable cost, which is our variable cost, 70 divided by 1 is 70. 110 divided by 2 is 55. 140 divided by 3 is $46.67. Average total cost is total cost, 170, divided by 1 over here is 170. Uh, then here I have it, B9, which is 210, divided by 2. And so hopefully that's pretty clear. Also, in my case, the way I actually got total cost was I took 100 plus 70, and I got 170. And then I took 170 plus 40 to get 210. So I actually I set up my, I found uh, um, the 100 plus 70, and so I was just able to, to, to get the uh, total cost that way. Because if you produce 170, your additional unit of production costs 40, well, that should be 210, and so on. Now let's talk about the relationship between these different costs. One thing that we find is you want, if the price does not, you, first of all, if you look at marginal cost, optimal output is where marginal revenues equal marginal cost. So if I had a revenue in a competitive industry of $100, I would produce, what, seven, seven units? Because down here, um, I would not want to produce the eighth unit because I wouldn't want to spend um, the additional cost of producing the eighth unit. That's $110. I could sell it for $100. Well, that would be a $10 loss on that unit. So marginal cost tells me how much to produce. Variable or average variable cost tells me whether I want to shut down. For example, if I cannot cover my variable costs, well, if I shut down, remember I have zero costs, then I just have a loss of $100. So variable costs will tell me whether I want to shut down. In other words, I need to cover, my price needs to be at least my variable cost. So if my price is less than, um, in this case, let's say I produce um, seven units if at the price of, of $100, well, that's $58.57. $100 is well above that. I want to stay open and sell it. But let's say the price was, uh, uh, let's say it was 
$45. So let's say we decide to produce right here, $45. Well, average variable cost is less than that. I don't want to produce if my price is $45. I need to at least get up to uh, something higher than that. Average total cost tells me whether I'm making a profit. If the price in this case, if I use 100 and produce seven units, well, my price is greater than my average total cost. So if the price is greater than the average total cost, I'm making the economic profit. I'm making more money than my next best alternative. And if I'm making less than my average total cost, I'm making a loss. But that's for later. Right now, I just want to focus more on how to calculate them and what they look like on a graph. So here, I just copied these terms. So I have marginal cost, or I have quantity, marginal cost, average variable cost, and average total cost. Well, I want to graph them. And all I did was I used an Excel function. Well, basically, I just plotted it. And if I plot those terms, there's what I have. Here, this curve is the marginal cost, where marginal cost falls at first because, let's say I have three machines. Well, as I put, use those machines and bring them online, my average, my costs of, of production, of producing each additional unit falls. But eventually, since I only have a certain size of factory, my marginal cost must be increasing. It must be costlier and costlier to produce additional, each additional unit. Well, notice here at first, my average variable cost falls, reaches a minimum right here where the marginal cost goes through it, and then my average variable cost will be increasing. Well, that's just like height, average height or average points in a baseball game. Let's say I have a class of students. Let's say the average height is, uh, let's make up a number. Let's say it's five feet five. And let's say I add in some additional students who are shorter than the average. Well, the average height is going to fall. And then if they're equal to the average, the average height doesn't change. And then if they're taller than the average, the average height goes up. So the marginal cost has to go through the minimum point of that average variable cost. Same thing's true with average total cost. Average total cost falls when marginal cost is below it, reaches a minimum point where the marginal cost goes through it, and then average total cost is increasing when the marginal is above it. The vertical distance between the average total cost and the average variable cost is actually average fixed cost. And so this is what the diagrams look like. So marginal, the average cost will fall when the marginal is below it, reach a minimum where the marginal is equal to it, and then average variable cost will go up beyond that. Average total cost will fall when marginal cost is below it, reach a minimum point right there, and then average uh, total cost will be increasing when the marginal cost is above it. Hope that helped in terms of the relationship between the different curves. And all of that diagram came just from these general cost functions, where we're just looking at marginal cost in terms of how much to produce later on, key point, key part, marginal analysis, compare marginal revenue and marginal cost, average variable cost, whether to shut down, average total cost we'll later look at in the book in terms of am I making a profit? Thank you.